Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Account, and welcome back to the channel. It has been no secret for the last month on this game, the market has been so mudded. But I can't help but notice that the new icons in this Golazo promo, and the Heroes 2, are really hurting prices, especially in one area. I'm going to talk about that today, where the market's going to continue to head as we get closer and closer to Team of the Season. And is EA going to finally surprise us with our SBC content on a Sunday? It's been every single Sunday, either a hero or an icon pick on and off for the last like two months. Are we going to be surprised today because the ADA Plus Encore icon goes away? We're going to talk about that and more in today's video. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. Let's go over Saturday content. There was actually a, a decent amount of content, guys, yesterday, to be honest. We had a couple of SBCs that I think a decent amount of people were interested in. Starting off with the Michael Eskin, right? One of the SBC players for Golazo that was leaked, and he finally dropped. Huge shooting boost here. 89 shooting. Four-star, four-star. High, high work rates. And, of course, he's got that power shot plus and the jockey plus. 99 long shots, 99 volleys, and power shot plus. I mean, that, to me, seems like a very fun card. Especially with how OP those long shots are off of volleys and those power shots. That might be a really, 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 really fun card to use. He also does have Anticipate being in the midfield. He's got Relentless. He's got Press Proven, Ping Pass, and Incisive. Definitely looks like a fun SBC. I don't think, again, with the other SBCs that are out, he's a must-do. But if this is somebody that you want to get done or if you want to try him out, by all means, I think the price is fair. I don't think it's overpriced. I don't think it's underpriced. I don't think it's cheap because, let's be honest, if this card was on the market, it would only be probably like two, three, four hundred thousand 400,000 coins. Nowhere more than that, in my opinion, based on the rest of the Golasso promo cards being as cheap as they are. So 800k, yeah, maybe it seems a little expensive, but I think that's a fair price just because, again, EA know that we get so much fodder now in, the, in these games with the rewards all across the game with the objective pack that we're getting every single day um, so they kind of have to overprice it a little bit so they don't just make prices on the market get destroyed even more which I think that's even one of the reasons we'll talk about today why the market is as mudded as it is but this SBC is decent I mean it's a 80% upvoted which is a little bit more I guess favorable towards the SBC I guess the community is thinking that way than I am um, I don't know if I'm going to do this one but I mean it is a great card if you want to get it done go right ahead do the loan version first I always recommend that with icon SBCs 83 rated squad for a loan that's very very easy although I just clicked into SCN and it says Get a five-match loan of... Okay, it says Cantona in the description, but it gives you Essien. So, yeah, there's that. Um, yeah, Essien's decent. Not too bad. Now, the other SPC that we had yesterday was the 84-7, which is kind of like the 83 times 10 has the exact same requirements, and that's why I'm comparing it to the 83 times 10 It's just an 83-rated squad and a team of the week. You can do it three times every single day, just like the 83 times 10 but instead of having all those 83s packable, there's so many 83s in this game. There's a lot of 84s too, but you take out all those 83s when you open this pack in the player pool, the opportunities that you have to pack players from this. I'm going to open my very first one. I have not opened any yet. I just want to see how these are. Let me know down in the comments how these guys are paying out for you. Is this Oberdorf? First one. I have to imagine double walkouts are pretty common. Oberdorf and Sandra Panos. In the 84 plus packs, especially since there's seven players, I'd have to imagine the double walkouts are decently common. Do I have any promos in here? I do not. So I have four 84s, two 87s, 86, 85. I feel like that's that's solid, right? I got three walkouts there. Okay, yeah, I'm a fan of that SBC. I mean, the 84 times 5 I was a fan of the past couple of times that it's been out. So the fact that that is still an 83-rated squad and an inform, I mean, that's a very, very nice SBC. And again, the fact that you can craft into it for the very low cost of that 83-rated squad. You need the team of the week, but they're easy to get right now too. And you can do it three times a day, every single day. So yeah, that's just a continuation. They did give us a new SBC finally, but that's just the continuation of um, those Saturday upgrade pack SBCs that we have been having. So that was the two SBCs only that we had yesterday on the game. We did have an evolution, guys. Another 99 shooting boost Evo. And it is another... Oh, it, oh it's not free. Oh, I thought this Evo was free. Atomic Ace, 100,000 coins. It gives a boost in skill moves. What's the boost? Does it go 5-star? You get first touch plus, you get power shot, you get tree vela plus, and plus 1 star to the skill move. Okay, so usually the, the, the radioactive chemistry style or play style as well, 
car design. That's what it is. Car design, guys. There's so many styles in this game. Radioactive car design to get all of the chemistry. I don't know. When I look in my club and I see who's available for me for this, I'm not super stoked to do this evolution, to be completely honest. Yeah, of course, you get somebody to the big 99 shooting boost. How's this Brenner card look? Yeah, he looks okay. I mean, first touch plus and Trivella plus. Trivellas aren't as insane as they were before. Of course, you guys remember Trivellas were like just as OP, if not more overpowered than finesse shots at one point of the year. Uh, this Chan card actually looks kind of nasty. 91 pace, 99 shooting. Five star skills, four star weak foot. You know, there's that's a potential upgrade that I could do if I really wanted to right there. But I don't know, man. I look at this and I'm just saying, for a hundred thousand coins, is it something that I 100% want to do? I don't think so. It's not top of my priority list for an Evo. And now I will say, uh, there are some really crazy Evos out there that people are creating. Again, just beware that some of them you can't do anymore. Like this says Ian, you can't put him into Welcome to Evolutions. That one's gone. Now, Unleashing Potential and Atomic Ace, those are both still available. So if you wanted to do this Cezinha, basically take off the plus ones that the Welcome to the Evolution gave you, and you're still getting a really, really solid card. You're going to boost them up to a 76, and then take him into the Atomic Ace and probably turn him into a 90 rated card instead of a 91. Uh, so not bad bad for sure and he's five star five star too that's one that a lot of people uh have to be going for i'm sure is Cezinha extinct uh 6k so he's not quite extinct it's, it's weird the silvers and the bronzes are the ones that go extinct because they're more rare but the uh the golds don't how about karamoa okay see centurion striker he shouldn't be extinct because he doesn't even fit i mean he's 87 8k so there's that i don't know man this evo to me is it's there i don't know if i'm gonna actually go ahead and, and commit to it at any point, there's 20 days for it to be out. Uh, 99 shooting is always nice. The playstyle pluses that go along with this one, though, I don't think are as good as the 99 shooting Evo that came out previously. So that's just my breakdown there. Now, to cap things off yesterday, we had the mini release, which was expected. And we did expect a mini release on Saturday, and it was dropped. And uh, guys, this might be one of the cheapest mini releases ever. Like, the cars that they put out weren't that crazy, except for Desai. And this guy... This guy, this card is crazy, and it's only 300. I cannot get uh, my head around the price of this card. Four star weak foot for the passing right out of the back, medium high work rates, anticipate and block plus 86 pace, 92 defending, 92 physical. His first promo card of the year. He can play CDM as well. He has 99 shot power, 97 composure. 91 reactions, which is helpful in the box as a center back. 94 strength, 95 aggression. Um, he does not have intercept, but wow, he has aerial power header. He even has pinged pass, and he has relentless. Um, and of course, anticipate plus, right? The golden raccoon, the best play style plus, in my opinion, in the game, especially number one for defenders. What a card this is, and for only 300,000 coins, it is bananas. Another card that was released yesterday that I think is crazy cheap if you're on a low budget and you need a new striker hello to robbie keen this guy big bro robbie keen 91 rated is only 50k 50 000 coins for a striker with these stats and a five star weak foot is unbelievable like this is a really a tots level card besides the passing that's a little bit low but having 92 and above in pace shooting and dribbling and especially having technical plus having three other shooting play styles this is a tots level card hands down and it's before tots and it's fifty thousand coins that is an insane item that was dropped yesterday um that's got to be hurting some of the budget strikers in this game uh, because that's just a crazy card so little bro robbie keen is of course a little bit more muddy he's also mls instead of prem uh, but i think a lot of people are going to use this robbie keen card he might actually be a decent investment uh as we head out of this team just because i feel like uh, however low he gets, he's probably going to get down to maybe not quite fodder price of like 30 something K. He might be under 50 K, but that is just, that's a nuts card uh, for lower budget teams in this game. Lineker is also pretty nuts. I, I didn't even see his playstyle pluses. He's got power shot and Trivella. All right. He's got a five star weak foot as well. That's a solid card. Again, another insane card that was very cheap. And then Vidic. Vidic is a solid center back for 70,000 coins for his little bro item. Aerial and slide tackle. Again, not as good as the big bro for sure, but still a very, very usable card. But this Desai man is unbelievable. And this brings us into the conversation of prices on the market and prices of these Golazo Icon cards. Guys, the market yesterday 
just continued to crash. And I want to focus in on this Desai card once again because he was one of the biggest reasons why some specific parts of the mar market keep crashing, right? 370k for this quality of a center. This is probably a top five center back on the game, guys. Just how OP Desai always is with that playstyle plus, with those stats, all the parts of this card that are there. Like, this is probably a top five CV on the game, and he's only 374,000 coins. Look at what this card, this card did to other center backs on the game yesterday. I mean, I'm not saying that Essien had anything to do with a price drop on Araujo because these are all center backs that we're looking at that are dropping from 835,000 coins on Araujo all the way down to 628k. Yeah, Essien cannot play center back, right? He's a CDM. It's really, it's this Desai that is shaking up the center back market so much. Varane was 1.6 mil. He went all the way down to 1.3. I mean, Eder Militao tanked yesterday too. He was like 500k and now he's under 400,000 coins. Can I get a double check on that? He was 530k right before content. This Desai comes out and he's absolutely headed to the floor. Now, of course, there's more cards that are dropping more than just center backs, right? But the center backs are down crazy. And it's because of this card. He is to blame. I'm telling you guys, this Desai is very OP. People have been waiting for a special version to, uh, for him. His price is going to fluctuate decently well, um, even though he's pretty supplied on the market. As we just saw when we looked him up, um, I haven't like gone through and done the search. I like to check the supply of these cards often. It's late night right now, so the supply is going to be a lot less than normal. After being in packs for less than one day, this Desai has nine pages. And so that probably means he's got like 20 pages during the heat of the day or maybe at least 15, right? But seriously, this card is bananas and it's making the rest of the market drop as we've already looked at examples. But that's just what's been happening with this promo, guys. It's yes, Desai is showing us a specific example of the center backs, but Golazo cards in general have been showing us with their high pack weight and how easy they are to obtain because their pack weight is high from tradable and untradable packs. Most packs are untradable anyways, right? But we're packing a lot of these cards. Like, I see tweets from you guys and messages and comments on the YouTube videos. Yo, Nate, just packed Cafu. Yo, Nate, just packed, uh, you know, Van Persie for the fifth time. Yo, Nate, just packed Cole. You just got Cruyff. Just got Pushkas. Like, Pushkas is 3 mil. 98 shooting Pushkas with 94 passing pace and 95 dribbling for 3 mil. The new Jarzinho card is 4.3 mil. He was like 11 mil for the first couple of hours on Friday. And I mean, I still can't get behind the price of the Roberto Carlos. 600 and whatever thousand coins for a five star, five star whipped pass plus Roberto Carlos. Drog was now only 400k. Kaka is under a million. Park Ji Sung is insane. Vidic is also insane for 685k. Cordoba for 600k. Actually, is Desai better than Cordoba and Vidic? I don't know. I mean, I haven't used them, but like for the price being half the price of Cordoba and Vidic and as OP as he looks with Anticipate Plus. I mean, that's that's crazy, right? Even Harry Cool for 230,000 coins, 5-star, five 5-star five with those kind of stats. Guys, it is this promo that is just continuing the crash on the market. Like, can we go back even to cards? Let's look at, like, Team of the Years, honestly. Let's look at, like, Team of the Year Rodri because it's these types of cards that just keep crashing in price. Of course, we had the massive drop-off earlier on in March. We knew that it was coming. We sold. We said to sell. Once we got into March, we're like, guys... Get out of these cards because we knew that for birthday was coming. We knew that some sort of icon promo like Golazo now uh, was going to be coming as well, just in preparation for team of the season. But it's like every single week, every single week on the weekend, these cards get destroyed, right? He dropped, 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 boom. He get he got low during the weekend, dropped down the most. For the next week, he's kind of chilling, and then boom, the, the weekend, Friday, bang, crashes down into Sunday. And then now, just like every weekend, these cards, you even saw it last weekend, from 1.9 mil down to 1.7, and he's still 1.7 mil. It's like every single weekend, the market is just getting destroyed, but it's been specifically the last two weekends that it's gone like crazy, crazy down. And I think it has to do with the Golasso cards being as packable as they are too. We already mentioned that, but to spin it in a different way, I think there's way less demand 
for players on the market. Foot birthdays, other icons, other promo versions, etc. This KDB was 1.4 million coins on Friday. Now he's 1.2. Am I buying this because I think it's going to go back up to 1.4? No shot. Everything is mudded right now. I'm staying away from most stuff unless I get it on a low bid or a snipe or something like that. There's way less demand for people to go and buy cards off the market because they're A, packing so many things from the new promos, and B, there's so many SBCs that are out, whether it's 88 plus icon picks that they want to craft, the 84 times 7 giving you a chance at packing something in the current promo, and then of course all the player SBCs that we have, even if they're not the most meta players, solid SBCs that people want to do, all the foot birthday SBCs that we had, and then of course the icons and the heroes like the Aloe Wayrin from Golazo, Essien being released now, people crafting through the Roberto Carlos old version, Ribery, Ham, David Beckham, Cantona, and then of course now the Essien too. There's just so much untradeableness on this game. And with the supply of these cards being packed, or the pack of these cards being so high in the supply, there's just way less demand for the market. I would be so curious to know how many of you guys um, have a fully untradeable team, whereas maybe a month or maybe like, I don't know, six weeks ago in February, you had some tradable players in your team, maybe a team of the year card that you bought during team of the year, or maybe it was just somebody else that you knew was going to go up after team of the year and they did. And, but now you're just like, nope, I know what time of the year it is. Uh, we talked about this in those videos, sell, run as untradeable as you can because this time was coming, but it's just crazy to see it. Even though you, we knew that it was coming, right? We knew that these price drop-offs were coming. It's just crazy to see it actually still happen with like, Wow, how crazy were we for paying 3.2 million for this Rodri card? How crazy were we for paying 15 mil? Basically, this Virgil van Dyke didn't see the market after he left PAX occasionally here. I mean, he was literally max price 15 mil. These blips down to zero. I mean, I guess the difference between 15 mil and extinct. And then for the last couple of weeks, he's been like 12 to 13, you know? Like, how crazy were we to be paying this and still... With the, the cards that have dropped recently in this promo, how crazy is this price still? It is crazy. But like with these team of the years, they've just been tanking and crashing like crazy. And it just has to do with a combination of more supply of great players with double playstyle pluses that rival the stats of those team of the years. Maybe they're not as good, but they rival it. And then again, you have less demand on the market. So people aren't buying as many players as their teams uh, because they're just using the cards that they can get through objectives and SBCs. Now, the question is, do some of these prices bounce back? And in my head, no, they're not going to, man. Until we get to team of the season starting. One of the things that we saw last year, just to kind of get your minds ready, is like, this card is a great example, right? Sokka, he was 1.7 two weeks ago, and I was trading with him a bunch. He's down to like 1.1 mil. Do I want to buy this card right now? Probably not. This card is some somebody who's probably going to end up being, I don't know, 800,000 coins, maybe 700K around Prem team of the season. Sokka, maybe getting a team of the season. Who knows, right? We're still a ways out from that voting and all that jazz, right? Um, probably in the conversation at least if he does or if he doesn't this is the type of card that could bounce back during prem tots because people are building prem teams getting team of the seasons putting them in their squads and they got to link them up with other players they want to use there's going to be other arsenal team of the season players as well for sure with the year that they've had the solid year so this is to be a card that like it's going to drop 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 and then during prem tots go up but then after that, it's probably just going to keep tanking down as we get more and more TOTS cards and they get replaced. But there will be a time and place to trade in that way. And Team of the Season is a great time to trade. It actually is. Even right now, it's technically a good time to trade. You just got to put a little bit of a working shift in, man. You got to get on some bids. You got to get on some snipes. And really, I have not been trading the last two, three, two, two weeks, really. I haven't traded much on Saturdays and Sundays. And it's been good because I've really missed out on all the prices that just tank during the weekends. They just tank, tank, tank. But then on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, it starts to chill out a little bit. So that's why right now I'm looking at some of those cards that might pick up in hype is the road to the finals. You saw a couple of uh, Donnarumma's on my transfer list. I'm trying to pay no more than 135k for him because he's hit 150k plus multiple times. This Gavard Diol, who is already up, he was like 550 last week. Um, he's now 645k, but some of these cards, even Tony Cruz, who I flipped, like some of these cards I'm keeping an eye on because I know that there's going to be a lot of hype on these riding up into these games this week for Champions League, and I'm just kind of starting to think about them and, and prepare early 
to try to get in a couple of these cards that could maybe rise into the games, especially if they're favorites, um, and then sell in the hype before then. Because once again, what do we see with the Fantasy FC cards, right? Like the Declan Rice and uh, all these other Fantasy FC cards that have gotten trashed in value. Uh, even after they got massive upgrades, like this Usman, 3.4 mil for Usman. He was 4.4 right before he got upgraded, right? Sell in the hype. So we'll talk a lot about the market, of course, through the rest of this week. But big market kind of centralized conversation today just because of the state of what this game is in. And real quick, just for fodder, fodder is not that much better either. Now, I did go buy some 91 rateds for just shy of 34,000 coins. I don't love the investment, but this is still around the conversations of that big Brazilian, potentially Ronaldinho SBC coming. Um, I wanted to go and pick up a few of those. These were all the way up at 36,000 coins yesterday. If we do end up getting a Dino SBC, these are probably just going to naturally find their way up in price. So I'm still kind of, I didn't invest a ton here. Like I maybe have 20 of these. Yeah, I maybe now maybe not even that much. Somewhere around 20 or so. The De Bruyne's and a couple of Hollands in there as well. So I just bought a few of those because I was like, you know what? Those could go from 33,000 coins all the way to like 38 to 39, potentially. Maybe mid to high 30s if we get some lazy sales on them. That would just be some easy coins that I could list up and make some profit on those if that Dino SBC is to come. And again, no news on that, man. I was hoping that we would get some tweets, some news information about a Ronaldinho SBC being confirmed and all of this. But as of right now, there is nothing just for the fact that um, they have not confirmed that it was Ronaldinho. Wow, 2 million coins. Or they have not confirmed which version of Ronaldinho we're getting. It hasn't been officially tweeted out. So the only thing is, guys, that we transitioned into talking about today on Sunday, Ronaldinho, if there was a day where he could come out, it would be today because it was last Sunday where we had Mia Hamm. Um, and that was a massive icon player SBC. Again, that one was leaked and it was pretty sure on which version it was i guess and that's why it was leaked as early as it was but uh we have no official dino leak yet and mia ham is was released last sunday so of course dino could potentially be released this sunday if there's never a dino sbc release then uh the leakers gotta say something for themselves uh, for getting us hyped up and, and for leaking that and kind of leaking that without saying that at the same time too uh, but then I think that these 91s would probably drop a little bit as well. So if Dino, if Dino's not today, he still could come out. Uh, but it's just it's just odd that uh, we did not see any news about that whole situation yesterday. Now, a couple more things to, to discuss about today. The Encore Icon player pick goes away, right? It's going, going gone. And the 86-plus hero, uh, actually, that's still out for a week. Okay, guys, they got to do something different today, man. EA, you have a unlimited repeatable hero upgrade pack that is going to be out for a whole nother week. Please do not release a hero player pick today, okay? I don't want a hero player pick. I don't think anybody does. If you want to do hero packs, do this one. It's cheap, and I actually have seen a halfway... It's not good pack weight, but I've seen some decent pulls out of this. Like, give us another icon player pick today. Make it this same SBC, but make it a one of four. That would actually be really OP if it was a one of four instead of a one of three. That extra slot in a player pick, you guys maybe know. That's very OP. So uh, that did refresh yesterday, and I think some more of you guys maybe have done it. But it didn't really make fodder move too much, I'm pretty sure. Maybe the 86s, maybe the 87s just slowly inched up but even looking at their prices right now i don't think they did i just hope that they do some sort of icon pick today because we've already got a hero pick out but again technically according to the schedule right it's every other week encore icon then we have a hero then we have an icon hopefully we have an icon pick today so watch out for that i hope the cycle is broken and they give us an icon pick two weeks in a row and then even if we don't get a Ronaldinho today I think we get some other sort of player SBC I don't know if Nakata that's the only card I believe I don't think we had a Nakata release yesterday I think I missed it if if he was but um yeah he's the last card that has been leaked in this Golazo promo to come so maybe he's getting an SBC we'll see but really today would be about Dino if it is Dino day and then other than that it's just going to be a good day to get some weekend league games in to potentially see what sort of icon or hero SBC they do release and uh, keep grinding the daily plays, keep grinding those games to get all those packs and get some fodder and then also have a chance of packing Golasso cards, man. 84 sevens, I got to hit up a couple more of those, get some weekend league games in and uh, yeah, it's a good weekend for that at least. Um, guys, for the stream today, I'm a little bit unsure. We've had some technical difficulties recently with the setup post stream on Friday. So um, 
I would maybe try to set up some things differently for today. We'll see if we get a stream in time. Um, but I will keep you guys updated on Twitter if that's going to happen or if it's not. Just a little bit of a housekeeping update there. But um, I'm hoping to get on because i got to play champs. And uh, I need to get some more objectives done, get some more packs queued up. Um, almost to level 25 as well, where I'm going to take the 83 times 20 for the massive amount of fodder. We'll be able to rinse and utter the species and uh, hopefully pack some more cards, man. But that's the video for today, guys. If you did enjoy, drop it up to the bonnet, comment below if you have any questions, and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nathan Food Accounts. See you guys tomorrow. Peace out.